Hi, I'm Stacy Robbins and I'm a Young Living Independent Distributor and I'm going to go over a lymphatic massage today. Um, some of you went to the convention and saw the Aroma Lift massage. Um, it uses this oil, the Aroma Life. It's got a little bit of a shine on it, but there it is. And what I do is I take my oil and I put it in a little roller ball with the metal ball. I always pick the roller balls that have the metal balls. Good essential oils will eat away petroleum products and plastics and eventually the ball will pop out and your oils will roll away um, with the ball. So I always choose a metal ball because it doesn't eat away and it lasts a long time and it rolls nice and smooth. So that's what we'll be using today. And um, if you saw the Aroma Lift or if you've done the Aroma Lift before, it helps move the lymphatic that um, collects under the skin in the face and neck and along here. There, we've got all kinds of little lymphatic um, points in our skin, in our face, in our neck, um, along the breastbone, under our arm, and those are the ones we're going to use. But they're actually all through our whole system, and there's a lot of great lymphatic massage information out there. I'm not a massage therapist or anything like that. It's just something I personally have done and I found very useful for me, um, especially I'm in my mid-40s now, and I can tell a huge difference in swelling in my face, um, sinus drainage, um, also like I get tight and tense and I get knots in my neck and all of that goes away with some lymphatic massage. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to start with my little roller ball and I'm going to actually take the aroma and I'm going to put it along my clavicle. I'm not as skinny as some so you can't really see my clavicle, but here's my clavicle bone and I put it right underneath. And you don't have to be really rough, um, it's right underneath the skin so you can be pretty gentle. Um, and I'm just going to give some gentle massage above and below that clavicle, my, my shoulder bone right here. And they recommend five times on each side, so I'm going to do very gentle. I'm working, I'm actually working on it. You want to work from the front to the side. I'm looking at a reverse camera, so it's making me a little confused. All right, and this, I, I actually can tell a huge difference. I like to do this um, when I immediately get out of the shower and your um, pores are all open. It's a great time to do this because your body really takes in the oil and all of its good stuff. So I'm going to push that side, and then I'm going to actually push, keep pushing down that lymphatic. I'm kind of along my shoulder bone and then down under my arm. Just, you don't have to be very rough. Just be gentle, and it kind of, there's a drain. There's actually a lymphatic drain God put into our body. So I'm going to push that down in there. I'm just going to do one side today, but you want to do both sides. I actually will do the other side when the video is over. So after we've done this, we take our um, little ball and we roll from our jawline to our chin. Actually, you want to go the other direction from our chin, the jawline, and down. And then I actually have to do this two-handed. You want to pinch it gently and just move it to the back again. You don't have to be rough. If you get little, um, start to get little jaw lines, it'll help you just be real gentle because our skin delicate. We don't want to be rough on our skin. So I'm going to push that back towards the ear, down along the neck and push it out. So you want to do that five to ten times. You can kind of tell. After you've done it a few times, um, you'll, your body will tell you what you need to do. And I notice for me, like in the aroma lift, they only do it up here, but there's a lot of stuff that collects in my shoulders, and I actually rub my shoulders and push it forward in my neck towards that drain, and I cannot believe the difference that's made in loosening up my shoulders, helping my sinuses drain. Um, keeping my headaches and neck aches away. So we'll do this gently. And I'm actually taking my hand and put it in there. There we go. Kind of cupping it in so that it fits around my jawline and pushing it out, sweeping it away. So after you've done that, we're going to take our little oil and we're going to line it up. I'm going to keep doing the same side. By the side of my nose, and then one right under the eye. That's what they do. And I actually kind of go back and forth. And you're going to gently pinch. And you, there's a sinus cavity there. You'll feel it. If you have any sinus drainage or any clogging that day, you'll notice right away it opens right up. And you kind of push in and up. Give it a couple little pulses. And then I sweep it along my cheekbone towards the ear. Do that a couple times. It feels great. I did this for my son who's sort of fighting a little sinus issue and he could tell right away. Okay, that's it. Then I'm going to take my little oil 
And I'm going to go around my ear. That's why I have my hair back. Go up and around. We'll get it in the ear. There we go. <laughs> and you're going to take your finger and rub real gently around your ear. It doesn't take much of the oil. I use it straight. I don't dilute it at all. Um, the Aroma Life comes with a little bit of a grapeseed oil in it, so it's got a little bit of dilution to begin with, and it does not bother my skin, and I do have sensitive skin. I have no issues with it. Just a little rubby, rubby all the way around the ear, and when I'm done with that, I kind of sweep that back down the neck cheek towards that drain. I can feel it. You can sometimes actually just feel everything start to drain, which is amazing. All right. Now I'm going to sweep this back. Take our oil and we'll put a little bit in the corner and on our temple. And then I like to, I keep going to the wrong side because my, my camera splits. I'm sorry. <laughs> it looks confusing. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little bit of pressure. Switch hands. Maybe I'll make it a little easier. A little bit of pressure. And then I pinch my eyebrow. And I know it sounds crazy. And you're be, be gentle, you know, how delicate the eye is. But it feels great. It just feels like all that tension in our head is getting pushed away. So I'm pinching. Start right up here. There's the sinus right next to the nose. And then I pinch, gently pinch the eyebrow across. Rub it away. And I found that I'm kind of heavy-handed. So I have to make myself be gentle. And then once we've done that, push my things up for a minute. We're going to just gently rub and circle up, and I actually kind of go in crazy um, misdirectional circles all the way around, and then I kind of go back over my eyes, up my cheeks, across my chin, and then we do the final sweeping, which is, you, I work with you on the side, you sweep towards the ear, down the neck, towards the drain, from the chin, towards the ear, down your neck towards the drain. Now we're not using an oil this last time, we're just kind of sweeping away, helping move out whatever's in there. And then once we get it all in, about five times, then we're, I always give an extra rub right along that shoulder. I can feel it start to build up. Use my hair sticking out. There we go. And then under the armpit, gently. Now this Aroma Life has cypress and some other things that are wonderful lymphatic support. And I can tell a huge difference. Um, my jawline, it's a little hard to see in here, but my jawline is actually a little more defined since I've been doing it. I'll let you see me. Let me get up close. I can, I'm, I'm almost 45, but I can tell a huge difference in my skin in general, in the puffiness around my eyes, which I've never been real puffy, but I can tell a huge difference. It's really making a big difference for me. Um, you could do this a couple times a day. You can't, you know, overdo it. Um, I like to do it at least in the morning and every night before bed. I love to do it right before bed. feels great. It helps me sleep better. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'd love comments. And if you have questions, um, leave them down in the comments, and I'll try to get back to it. If you're interested in Young Living Oils and the wonderful things that they can do for the wellness of your family, I would love to help you with that, too. And you can contact me through my blog. Um, I'll put this back up here. Those to reap at blogspot.com. Um, that's my Young Living number. Or you can leave a comment below, and I will get to you back with you. Thank you.